Well, you've decided to research just exactly how you can improve your math skills, right? Well, as a teacher with 20 years experience under my belt, I've got plenty of evidence to support my top 10 ways that you can become a better math student. Now, many of these are absolutely critical, especially the last one. So let's not waste any more time and let's get to it. Number 10, get organized. So many math topics are built on previously learned topics. So it's incredibly important that all of that stuff, all those notes, all those quizzes and tests and homeworks and worksheets are all in one place, all in order. Not only will it keep all your notes handy, but it also help you keep track of what assignments you will be working on. Hopefully then you won't have this feeling of impending doom and paralysis because your notebook's an absolute mess and you have no idea what's going on. So let's get yourself organized and start fresh. Number nine, learn the math facts. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're never gonna be successful in a high school math class if you don't know your basic math facts. So take the time, download some free app and work on your addition, your subtraction, your multiplication and division so that you have it all memorized. I also want you to understand how to add, subtract, multiply and divide fractions. Take the time to learn that. It will pay off in high school. So learn all these math facts and you'll be in much better shape for high school. Number eight, limit the calculator use. Well, since you learned your math facts, this shouldn't be so hard, right? Wean yourself off the calculator. The calculator should not be used for things like four times eight or two plus negative two. All right, you can do that in your head. Save the calculator for nasty decimals, all right, or things with pi in it. Use it for those sorts of things, not simple arithmetic. Number seven, stay engaged. When your teacher is up there pouring their heart and soul out on the board, I need you to try to stay engaged. Try to take some good notes, try to follow the thought process, raise your hand, ask questions if you're confused. Now, what about teachers who teach through videos, maybe a flipped classroom? Well, you're gonna to have to do your best, watch the video, pause and start it, take notes so that the next day you can ask your teacher about any of those items that were confusing you. So stay engaged, keep your head in the game and you'll be much better because of it. Number six, show work, keep it neat, and don't rush. One life skill that math teaches you is the ability to follow careful steps. So keep all your work nice and neat, show all your work, and don't rush through it. And you're much more likely to do well and to understand the problem so that you'll do even better on that next, more difficult problem. Show your work, keep it neat, and don't rush. Number five, don't assume. Don't assume that the first part of the notes or video covers the entire topic. There's often many things that we teachers need to go through during a class period uh, that you need to stay engaged during the entire period. I often have students after the first couple problems, they'll say, Mr. White, is this all that there is here? And I say, no, there's a whole bunch of stuff we still need to go through. So we got lots of notes to take, right? So make sure you stay engaged through the whole thing and don't assume that you can just watch the first couple minutes of the instructional video and that'll be enough because there's a lot hidden in there that you need to take notes on and get out. Number four, circle difficult problems. This one's really easy. While you're going through a worksheet or a homework problem set, just circle the problems that you had troubles with. That way you can ask your teacher the next day for a little bit of help. Um, if they don't have time to go over it in class, go up and ask them afterwards, take the initiative. But you have to circle the problem so that you remember which ones to ask your teacher about. Number three, get your work done on time. Hopefully you've set aside time every day to where you can get your work done for your teacher. That way when you come in the next day, you can ask your teacher about those difficult problems that you had circled. But if you didn't do it on time, that's gonna make it much more difficult to ask your teacher for help. And if you've been absent, be sure to ask your teacher for all your missed assignments. You don't wanna stay behind for weeks and weeks. So get yourself caught up and stay current all the time. Number two, work with a friend and teach each other. Let's be honest, sometimes it's easier to listen to your friends than a teacher, right? So by working together, you're gonna to have a chance to talk each other through these problems and by explaining things, by teaching, you learn even better. You know, as a teacher, I've learned so much just by going through some really complicated material like calculus and trigonometry, I learned much better because I taught it. Now you can do the same thing with the topics that you have right now in your math class. 
Number one, and most important, is to believe in yourself. Now, I know you're rolling your eyes at that one. Uh, hear me out on this one. Uh, you need to believe that you can learn. You need to believe in the growth mindset, the idea that your brain will actually change based on the activities and the learning that you're doing. You can learn to do anything. Now, your teacher believes in you. Your teacher is trying to help you understand things. That's why I became a teacher, because I enjoy uh, trying to come up with creative ways to get things across to students. Now, I need you to believe in yourself and then also, of course, do these other nine things that I mentioned today. And I have no doubt you will be an amazing math student. All right, your homework is to put your thoughts down below. I wanna know, did I leave something out? And while you're there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you with all this math that you're trying to figure out. All right, until next time, 